KTL, the world's largest battery manufacturer for electric vehicles, is known for powering our cars with clean energy. But they're not stopping there. Now, they're setting their sights on the skies with a groundbreaking new technology, an airplane battery. This Chinese company is aiming to create electric airplanes capable of flying hundreds or even thousands of miles, thanks to their powerful batteries. Welcome to the future KTL is building. Recently, KTL announced a major breakthrough in their quest to develop this revolutionary airplane battery. So, what exactly has KTL revealed? Join us as we explore KTL's new aircraft battery. KTL has embarked on an ambitious electric aircraft project with an expected launch window between 2027 and 2028. The centerpiece of this project is a plane that can fly a staggering 2,000 to 3,000 kilometers, roughly 1,200 to 1,800 miles, on a single charge. This innovation has the potential to transform regional travel, making shorter to medium haul flights possible without the need for fossil fuels. This project represents a significant leap for KDL. They've already successfully completed a test flight with a smaller four-ton electric aircraft, proving the concept's viability. The next step involves scaling up to a larger eight-ton aircraft capable of achieving these impressive long-distance ranges. The secret sauce behind this project is Cattle's revolutionary new battery technology, the aptly named condensed battery. These batteries pack a much bigger punch than those currently powering most electric cars, boasting an energy density of up to 500 watt-hours per kilogram. They essentially store twice the power of a typical EV battery. This significant improvement in energy storage capacity is crucial for powering larger aircraft over longer distances. The Chinese battery maker unveiled the condensed battery in April 2023 announcing at the time that the battery was expected to be used in the electric airplane sector. KDL has been collaborating on the development of civil electric aircraft projects, implementing aviation-grade standards to meet stringent safety and quality requirements. As KDL's chief scientist Wu Kai said on April 19, 2023, at the Shanghai Auto Show, safety is paramount. Cattle isn't simply adapting car batteries for airplanes. They're working hand-in-hand -hand with industry experts to ensure these electric aircraft meet the most rigorous safety standards for passenger travel. This collaborative development process is ongoing, but Cattle's commitment to safety remains unwavering. The benefits of the condensed battery technology extend beyond airplanes. Cattle plans to integrate this technology into future electric cars as well. These next-generation batteries are expected to be ready for mass production by the end of 2023, potentially giving the electric vehicle industry a much-needed boost in terms of range and efficiency. Catil's electric airplane project isn't a solo flight to conquer the skies. They've joined forces with a formidable partner, China's state-owned aircraft maker, the Commercial Aircraft Corporation of China, COMAC. This strategic collaboration cemented through a joint venture formed in July 2023, brings together Katiel's battery expertise with COMAC's experience in aircraft design and manufacturing. It's a powerful combination that could significantly accelerate the development of commercially viable electric airplanes. The journey towards electric flight began with exploring a range of options. Cattle wasn't just setting their sights on one specific size. According to Robin Zhang, chairman of Cattle, their initial explorations encompassed a spectrum of electric aircraft concepts, ranging from smaller one-ton models to larger eight-ton variants. This broad approach allowed them to test the feasibility of electric propulsion across different scales and identify the sweet spot for initial commercialization. Like we said earlier, the company has tested the waters with four-ton electric aircraft prototypes. These initial test flights are a crucial step in proving the concept and gathering valuable data. However, Zeng acknowledges that the true test lies in scaling up to achieve commercial viability. Electric airplanes need to reach a larger passenger capacity, and the 8-ton class and above represent that critical threshold. The development process is ongoing, and there's still work to be done. As Zeng highlights, 
The project requires continued refinement and optimization, with a target launch window set for 2027 to 2028. Catal and Comac are working diligently to bridge the gap between cutting-edge technology and real-world application. Their joint efforts hold immense promise for the future of sustainable air travel. The world of physics can get pretty complex, but understanding a key term, condensed matter, is crucial to appreciating this innovative battery technology. One important question now is, will the condensed battery be cost-effective enough to truly revolutionize the market? The potential benefits of the condensed battery are undeniable. For electric cars, a 500 watt-hour per kilogram energy density could be a game-changer. Imagine electric vehicles with ranges that rival their gasoline-powered counterparts. This significant leap in energy density could allow manufacturers to design smaller, lighter electric cars with driving ranges that meet the demands of many consumers who are currently hesitant to switch due to range anxiety. This could be a major turning point in the widespread adoption of electric cars. The benefits extend beyond passenger vehicles. For larger electric vehicles like trucks and SUVs, the condensed battery could open doors to a whole new level of practicality. Trucks hauling heavy loads or towing trailers could achieve impressive ranges with this powerful battery, making electric options a more viable choice for commercial fleets and businesses. This could significantly reduce emissions from the transportation sector and contribute to a cleaner environment. The potential doesn't stop at land vehicles. The high energy density of the condensed battery also makes it a potential candidate for powering electric airplanes. This could pave the way for a future with cleaner and more sustainable air travel, reducing the environmental impact of the aviation industry. However, there's a potential roadblock on this exciting journey. Cost Developing such high-performance batteries often involves significant research and development expenses. These costs could translate into a higher price tag for both electric cars and airplanes that utilize the condensed battery. Affordability remains a crucial factor for electric vehicles to truly become mainstream. Consumers are unlikely to embrace a technology that significantly increases the upfront cost of a car compared to gasoline-powered options. Furthermore, the question of mass production remains unanswered. While Cadiel claims the battery is ready for production this year, details are scarce on how this complex technology will be transferred from the lab to a cost-effective manufacturing process. Scaling up production without sacrificing affordability is a significant challenge that Cadiel will need to overcome if the condensed battery is to reach its full potential. Cadiel also announced at the show that it wants to achieve carbon neutrality in its core business by 2025 and the entire value chain for batteries by 2035. To achieve this, CO2 emissions must be reduced in the five key areas of mining, raw materials, battery materials, battery manufacturing, and battery systems. KTL has also initiated a Sustainable Value Chain Transparency Audit Program, which includes a sustainable development management mechanism and a code of business ethics, environmental protection, labor practices, and responsible sourcing. For Catiel, achieving carbon neutrality is our responsibility, demonstrates our capability, and opens up more opportunities, said Gan Lee, Catal Board Secretary. The sales volume of Catiel's lithium batteries was 289 gigawatt hours in 2022, and according to SNE research, Catel held 37% and 43.4% of the global market share of EV batteries and energy storage, respectively. What do you think about this? Let us know in the comments section.